Good morning. It's Vlogmas Day 8. My voice sounds terrible. <laughs> Ever since I got sick in September, um, I have been waking up with um, stuff on my vocal folds and I um, am a singer, as you know, and so this is very distressing. So I've just been sort of steaming and like trying to cough instead of, I can't do the throat clearing like the, <clears throat> cause that's, um, that's actually pretty damaging cause there's no nerve endings in your throat and you can really do a lot of damage to your cords by doing that. So I am going to work off this phlegm. Um, I've had my first cup of coffee. I had a client this morning, um, but she is not feeling well. So, um, we had to reschedule for another day next week so it's gonna be next week I'm gonna be very busy so I don't know who, um, <clears throat> how I'm gonna handle my schedule next week but the good thing about that is all of the singing stuff for the year is over and all the organizing stuff is ramping up so um, that's what happens when you have two different lives <laughs> instead um, I'm going to take Clover for a walk around Boston and shoot some B-roll around Boston since you guys want to see Boston. Um, I'm going to Boston proper. I'm going to the South End because I'm going to the hairdresser uh, to get a trim. Although I'm really, I don't love to get uh, trims because I'm, I am growing out my hair. Um, but I should get a trim every now and again. And my hairdresser is fabulous. Um, and I'm going to actually probably help her with some organizing stuff around the store. And uh, she really wants to meet Clover, so... We're gonna take the bean as well. Um, I do have some stuff to do around the house today. Is he creeping in the background? Look at, look at. What are you doing, bean? Anyway, um, that's why I've been wearing this cap for the last couple of days is um, I have to go into my um, diva cut with like, just hair down and sort of able to be cut. I don't know how many of you have curly hair, but if you've ever had a diva, have a, had a diva cut, can't talk this morning. Um, it's a special cut for curly hair and it has to be done when your hair is dry. Um, so it's, uh, it's a special hair cutting technique. I don't know anything about it. All I know is that like my hair is a rat's nest right now and I'm gonna wet it a little bit, but I haven't washed it in the last week. So it's been driving me crazy that I haven't been able to wash my hair, but I'm having my hair shampooed today, styled, hair dried, whatever. Um, and uh, that's that. So, um, and I think since my client canceled, I'm gonna do some marketing work instead of that in the time I, that I was going to be with her. So that'll be this afternoon after I come back. Um, because if your client canceled, you always want alternate plans that are work related so that you're not like sitting around twiddling your thumbs, like going like, what the heck, what do I do now? So, or maybe I should actually, I should practice too. Um, I'm going to uh, clean up a little bit. Maybe, uh, what is going on back there? What? Hey, what, what are you doing? Huh? Huh? By the way, update. I am still having problems with my iRobot Brava with the battery. I'm gonna take out the battery and replug it in more carefully and see if it actually charges. I don't know if it's because it's not plugged into the way so the battery's not charging. I don't know. And um, I am have, actually having problems with the replacement thing on the West Elm couch as well. So I have to call them and talk to them about that because I'm in touch with them over email and it's it's not been the best experience, I, I have to be honest. Um, so those are updates for you for that. Oh, and my coat that I cleaned yesterday, in yesterday's vlog Perfect. Came out perfect. So, if you have a North Face coat, um, you can put it in the washing machine on gentle cycle and tumble dry with no heat, and it comes out perfect. My voice sounds absolutely atrocious. All right, well, let me uh, clean up and get started, and then we'll uh, start the day. Okay, I am ready to go. We are ready to take our walk. My eye look is like way more intense. And I thought it would be, but it's not like makeup guru, like YouTube beauty guru intense. Um, so we are going to go to Boston and have some fun. Oh. 
strange length and they like stick out like Bozo the Clown. So we had fun walking around Boston. Um, tonight we are going to Hot Pot and I don't know if you guys um, ever go to Hot Pot. Um, in Japanese culture they call it Shabu Shabu. I think in all other cultures they just call it Hot Pot. Um, but it's basically um, Asian meal where you get all of these little like things like you can get like lamb, chicken, beef, vegetables, tofu, fish, and a big broiling um, center of delicious broth. And you put your little items in the broth and cook them for however long that you need to cook them. Like beef is like 30 seconds or a minute or whatever. And then you can have your noodles on the side or rice or whatever. And it's delicious and I'm absolutely obsessed with hot pot so tonight we're going to hot pot which I'm so thrilled about because it's like my favorite thing to do um that involves food and uh we're going to a place I've never been to before in Boston so that should be exciting um there's a couple of my favorite places that are around here but this is a new one um, recommended by a couple friends of ours so we're going to go out with them and have hot pot but first I have some paperwork to do I have some emails to answer I have a bunch of stuff organizing stuff going on next week so it's gonna be a little bit crazy I don't know what's going on here but like I will talk to you guys later just having a quick snack so I'm not totally starving until dinner tonight but I just have to say I am very happy that this bottle of soy sauce I got from well it's tamari I guess well who knows what it is anyway that th this bottle of tamari or soy sauce from Target is done because it's the worst packaging of all time because it just look look at the like bottle opening so if you pour it you get soy sauce everywhere and it gets all over the bottle all over your all over your counter actually I'm not gonna I'm gonna do that separate from the bottle when I'm recycling um it's the worst packaging of all time target I'm looking at you what are you doing they didn't even put like the little like plastic you know thing on top which makes the soy sauce come out slow no you just pour it out and you either get too much or you don't get enough and then when you finally get it out it gets everywhere so target i love you but we will no longer be banging soy sauce <laughs> at your location all right i have you know what the dryer noise is in the background again i am so sorry for yesterday's vlog with the dryer noise in the background it's very annoying i'm sorry Anyway, finished eating, and uh, this is where organizing and singing collide. 
I've got some stuff over here that I, not this box. <laughs> I've got some music here that I really have to sort and um, decide when I'm gonna keep and when I'm gonna recycle. And my organizing system for my sheet music that's loose, these are my scores here that are um, bound. I do have some bound stuff in here, but not that much, are these really cool um, desktop organizer boxes. So they're basically um, a filing system for my music and I have them sort of categorized. I have early music, which means everything before 1750. <laughs> new, borrowed, and reference. Sometimes I'll borrow a score and I'll just stick it in there. And if it's like new music, like if it was like just written or if it's maybe newer than like 1950, I put it in here. Um, choral and art songs. This is probably the most disorganized of the four because it's it's just too wide a category. And choral music. So I'm gonna sort that out. My phone was going crazy though, so I'm wondering if that's Twitter about Pokemon Go Generation 3. <laughs> I am a big Pokemon Go player. I'm a big Pokemon player in general, but Pokemon Go has been really a lot of fun. I know but a lot of people aren't playing that game anymore, but I am still playing. And Generation 3 is coming to Pokemon Go this week, and I don't know when. I have the Twitter notifications turned on, and I, the moment it's turned on, the moment Generation 3 drops, I am catching. I am catching. So, I want to check my Pokemon. My, uh, I'm going to check my Twitter. Okay, so no, no Generation 3 yet, as of 2.23 on Friday. But we're going to start with the music organizing, and I'm going to watch some YouTube while I'm doing that, and uh, I'll uh, catch you guys later. <laughs> You know, sometimes as I'm doing this, uh, every now and again, I go through and I look at pieces that I have, and I've had this piece, this is a piece called, this is the Four Fragments from Canterbury Tales um, by Mr. Lester Trimble, okay? This is a piece that I did in a chamber music ensemble in college, and I just had like triggered flashbacks of this piece because this was like the worst experience I had working with a college professor in my entire life. One rehearsal, I ran out of the room crying because he was so cruel to all of us. He was a really mean person. During one of another rehearsal, the flute player got so upset she left. I was like 21 or 22 and you know, I was still learning to like learn stuff. And um, he came up to me afterward and said, this process would have been so much easier. And no, no, he was like, he was like, you did really great during your performance. And I was like, thanks. And he was like, this process would have been so much easier if you didn't lie and you really knew your music and you um, knew you didn't, you know, fake like you didn't know your music and you know, you know, you knew what you were doing, but you were just giving all of us a hard time. And I was so shocked. Immedi I didn't even say anything. I just walked away. This is after my performance. After I, I was like struggling to get through this entire performance, like and do it okay. And I was like, and I, you know what? I'm gonna like toot my own horn here. I do. I can always, almost always, if I'm having a hard time learning a piece, pull it together for for the performance and like at least fake like I know what I'm doing and like maybe like give the a, give the appeal of like more confidence that I'm actually having. So I immediately like walked away. I was just like, don't say anything, just walk away. And I found the head of the chamber music department and I was like, I need to talk to you right now. And we, you know, he shut me in his office and we had a chat and I was crying and I was like, I was like, I, I was like, that was, that was unnecessary. And like, I, you know, I can't even believe, like, I better get like, you know, a passing grade because I worked so hard on this piece. I, so I said to my, I was like, I worked my butt off for, you know, to learn this piece. And it was just so, and I told him all the stories and it was just a horrible experience. You know, this is so long ago, that guy is probably actually no longer, um, on this earth, but I just want to say, if you're a professor and if you're teaching, don't be mean to your students, man. Like, I worked so hard on this. 
and there was no reason for him to be like a jerk. So that is like the memory I got from this, and I still I still have this piece. I actually don't hate this piece. It's um it was Canterbury Tales, so it's got all this weird um old English in it, and it was really fun. Um, to learn that I had I have all of my notes about like how to say you know what it what it actually means in modern English and It was pretty cool. I'd actually like to do it again um, And not have a jerk try to coach me through this and give me a failing grade or no He didn't fail me. I think I think I ended up getting a B or something like that in that class and I do think that was my last year in college, but That's a story <laughs> I don't know People are jerks sometimes. It doesn't even matter like what you do or like how nice you are. And I was like so nice to him and I like tried so hard, but he was just a freaking jerk. Um, so that's the story behind this one. So I'm keeping it. I actually do want to perform it again. I'll probably never find this score again. So uh, let's, uh, I'm putting a clip on it. Cause that's what I'm doing here. I have all these little like tiny little, look at the little, little baby clips. I have all these little baby clips for organizing my music because they're not um, they're not always in a notebook. So I just want to keep all the pages together so it doesn't get too crazy in there. So anyway, that's a story I thought I'd stop for. <laughs> Sorting through my desktop files here. Um, they are pretty, um, all the stuff in here is stuff I wanna keep. Actually, I just need to go through and really with a fine tooth comb, sort of really organize this. I can show you how it's kind of organized. We got Bach arias, English music. Um, what else is back there? Got some Vivaldi up in there. What's back there, can you focus? Um, Italian Baroque, is that what that says? <laughs> I can't tell. Anyway, um, it's, I have a lot, I have a lot, um, just because not everything was given to me in books and it's annoying. I can't, I'm, I'm not at the point in my life where I feel comfortable reading off a digital score. I've tried it. It's not fun. Um, I really like to look at paper when I'm reading. Um, I think my main issue is I need to make some more shelf space um, because I've actually been using, by the way, these are like partially color blocked, like falsely color blocked, and I think they look really cool. Like it's not in rainbow order because I'm not really down with that, but like we've got like beige and like red and blue and um, purple and gray. It's just like really fun to have like partially color blocked. Um, I think it looks really neat. Um, but so this is the stuff I'm gonna either recycle or I'm just gonna get rid of it. Like I, let's, let's be real. Like, do I need Beethoven piano music? Like, no, I, I don't. And, or like piano, like sight reading book. I wanna like burn that with fire. And then the string, the string technique book. Like I don't have a, I did play violin for like one semester in college and that's actually where this book came from and I still have it. Why? I don't know. Someone else is gonna get a better use out of that. I'm gonna donate these. Um, and <laughs> the basic adult piano course, like why do I have this? Anyway, I'm gonna recycle all of this um, extra sheet music. This was like random sheet music I don't think I'll ever need again. And there was like a random libretto for an opera I was in like eight years ago, like what? Um, this is stuff I'm still working on. Um, this is, uh, oh my gosh, I love this piece. This is, um, my friend, Vartan Agababian, what kind of an awesome name is that? He's amazing. He wrote me this song cycle and it's based on poetry by A.A. A. Milne. So um, it's all like Christopher Robin and like Winnie the Pooh inspired. So we, we, we call it the Pooh songs. This is stuff I'm still working on. These are like my audition stuff. And this is stuff that I took out for some reason. Um, so this is like my current, current stuff. Um, and uh, let's see actually, what is this stuff? Oh yeah, this is stuff for uh, my next concert. So that is like current, current, current stuff. And I found a check it in cash as well. So I <laughs> did do that. Um, so I've done some good sheet music organizing and I feel good about myself. If you're feeling intimidated about organizing paper, um, it is an intimidating kind of project to do. Um, give yourself like 
little chunks of time, like 20 minutes. That's really all I can handle, like looking at paper is 20 minutes. It's just so incredibly like labor intensive for the brain, not just for the hands. Um, for the hands, I mean, I can go for a long time, but just for the brain, because you're looking at every single paper, you're analyzing it. I mean, just give yourself small chunks of time and just like go for it and then like walk away and leave it alone for you know, until the next day. So give yourself a little, like a few days to like get a project done. But once you start going, you're gonna wanna do a little bit more every day. Um, so I'm gonna get to the recycling action and then it's about 2.47, so I think uh, I'm going to take Clover to the dog park since we're going to dinner tonight and I want to leave him here alone. Um, but I'm going to take him at about 3.30. He's sleeping now. <laughs> um, but um, I'll get him nice and tired so that I can go out and have some fun. And I think to myself, what a wonderful What a wonderful Also on the faces of people going 